Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to the second part of our how to grow a tree using hair in Cinema 4D. Uh, in the previous tutorial we built the tree. Now we are going to be taking a look at how to animate it. Right, um, I'm going to load up one of the versions of this which doesn't have any animation and uh, this is it right here and uh, before I go any further I will save an incremental version of this because I want to show you some issues you can run into uh, when you try to animate uh, your tree to grow so if I first of all just shut off everything except for the trunk so the branches, twigs and leaves let me shut all of these off. So we're left with just the trunk and animating this is very simple. If you go to the hair texture, go to the basic tab and make sure that length is enabled, you will get an extra tab uh, called length and here you can animate this length value here, this percentage. So if I go to frame 0 and set this to 0 and then hold control and click the circle to set a keyframe move to a second in my timeline and then set this back to 100 and set that keyframe if I hit play you can see that our trunk grows very nicely I'm gonna switch everything else back on so the branches, twigs and leaves and when I hit play you can see I have nothing. They no longer appear anymore. And uh, the reason this is happening is because at uh, frame zero, our trunk has a length value of zero. It doesn't have any size at all. And um, because of this, the branches cannot reference uh, the trunk. And if you remember, this link here is what creates the hierarchy which allows you to attach um, different pieces of hair onto other pieces of hair but if there's nothing to attach it to then it just doesn't appear at all so what we have to do to get around this is um, to make a copy of each part of the tree and a copy of each of the textures one texture will be uh, one set of uh, hair objects and textures will be used for the animation and the other will be used uh, to keep the uh, reference or link relationships intact so that we don't end up with a situation where nothing appears. That sounds like a mouthful. Uh, it was for me the first time I um, looked into this technique but uh, I'm gonna show you and it should be a lot easier as we go along. I'm going to go back to the project which still has our tree and I'm going to first of all just duplicate everything. Uh, duplicate everything once so we have a trunk and we have two of them, two branches, two twigs. Uh, we don't need to duplicate uh, the leaves because there's nothing attached to, to those. Uh, okay. Uh, so when we've duplicated the hair objects, we also need to duplicate uh, the textures. But before we do that, we should name these correctly. So we have the trunk, and let's call the second one uh, trunk ref. And let's keep that pattern. So this is going to be branches ref and twigs ref. And uh, just to tidy this up, just to set up this kind of hierarchy where the object we are going to use as reference is a child of the main object. And uh, we want to duplicate each of the materials and apply it onto the new objects. So starting with the trunk, I can just hold control and drag to the right. The texture on the right is the new one. Let's uh, click on it, go to basic, and let's call it 
trunk ref. Let's uh, drop it onto the trunk ref and then just repeat the process for the rest of the textures. And uh, you're not going to see any change here because it's the exact same texture. But uh, we can double check in a moment to see if what we're doing is working. So um, if I click on this texture, this is the normal twigs and we've got twigs ref and that pattern is the same for the rest. So now we have uh, two of each except for the leaves. What we want to do now is um, go to the branches uh, and change the link from being the trunk to being the trunk reference. So let's uh, drop this here and we also need to do it for the child of the branches because this inherits this and this will also inherit this. So let's do that. Go to twigs and let's drop branches reference onto both of the twigs and then leaves we're gonna just drop in twigs reference and uh, that's it and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and shut off the reference objects because right now we have um, each part appearing twice in the scene so if I switch off the trunk reference for example you can still see the trunk because there's the main one still there and uh, this is the key to the trick because what we can do now is go to their reference uh, to them sorry to the normal textures animate these and because uh, our objects are not referencing the main objects uh, they are still going to be attached to the right place I really hope all of this is making sense um, <laughs> when I first learned this trick I had to watch uh, the explanation of what was happening quite a few times before I fully grasped it but I'm pretty slow like that so you might get this first time anyway um, anyway let's go to the trunk material let's go to the length and let's animate this so set it to zero and set the keyframe go to one second in the timeline and set this to 100 and note that when that was at zero the branches are still in the right place. This is because they are no longer referencing the trunk we have just animated. They are referencing the trunk ref, which is not animated. And uh, that's how you do the trick. So next up, we want to go to the branch. And uh, here, we want to enable length as well. You may have noticed my branches just got slightly shorter. Uh, this is because by default the length has a variation percentage next to it and uh, this is set to 20% which means your length is actually not going to be a hundred percent it's going to be a hundred percent minus any value between 0 to 20 so this could be like maybe 80 and it kind of randomizes it across all the different uh, sections so I'm going to set this to 0 so we maintain our original length I'm going to go to about frame 20, just before my trunk reaches full size. And here, I want to set the length to 0. And then go to frame 50 and set it to 100. So this is animated over 30 frames, uh, as we did for the main trunk. And there's a 10 frame overlap that just kind of smooths out. Uh, the whole animation sequence. Next up we're going to go to the twigs and we're going to be starting from frame 40 and going up to 70. So if I go to the twigs I'm going to go to basic enable length. Let's uh, switch off the variation set this to zero hit keyframe move over a second and set this back to 100 and you can see everything is staying in position. I'm gonna go to the leaves now. 
let's uh, enable length go to the variation zero it out and uh, starting at frame let's see where did we finish off the last time so we're gonna start at frame 60 this time set this to zero and then go to 90 and set this to 100 and then hit the last keyframe and there we go first we have our trunk the branches the twigs and finally the leaves and you could continue this hierarchy uh, for as many times as you want uh, depending on how many different parts that are on your tree but uh, I hope that made some sense um, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments section below this video but uh, it's been fun making this tutorial I hope you've learned something new and uh, you can maybe start experimenting a lot more with hair uh, like I have been doing recently before this I had really never uh, even thought about uh, doing anything but uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool and I'll see you in the next video Oh, my God.